Hello, how's it going? Annie here. Today we're gonna do a C chord and maybe more. So um, this is a medium level piano video. So if you uh, need a refresher about C position, which is what we're gonna be using today, maybe you, you can pause this video right now and go and check out the video about C position first. Uh, and that way you'll remember where all the notes are that I'm about to show you. So go ahead and do that. Are you done? Okay, cool. Um, so welcome back. We're going to play a C chord on the piano. Now, what even is a chord? A chord is sometimes called a triad. And the most important part of that word is the tri. That means there's three things. So a chord or a triad has three notes that you play at the same time. And that makes a beautiful harmony. For those of you who know how to read notes on the staff, here's what a chord looks like. Three notes, one, two, three, and it looks kind of like a snowman. So that's one of the reasons why chords are cool. So here's the C chord, there's a C on the bottom. We're gonna do a skip to E, and then one more skip to G. So now I'm gonna show you on the piano. Let's go to overhead camera somehow. Here we are at the piano. My middle C has a star on it today, so I'm gonna play that. That's the first note of our chord. The other two notes are E and G. So you notice they're all skips apart. We skip this note and we skip this note. We don't want those notes at all. These three notes make the beautiful C chord harmony. So there you go, there's your C chord. Now, now that you know what it is, I'd like to share with you some tips on how to practice it. Because sometimes your hands don't always do what you want them to do right away. So that's why we practice. And so we're gonna use fingers number one, three, and five to play the chord. And I've broken it down into little bite-sized pieces so that you can play little parts and practice little bits at a time. And you'll see what I mean back to over. Chord practice, level one. Fingers one and three. So we're gonna do this. Finger one and finger three together, like this. I love music. Here it is again. I love music. Notice I didn't use this finger at all. This finger's gone. Chord practice, level two. Fingers one and five. This is one, here's five, here we go. I love music. You got that? Okay. Now, we're gonna skip some levels because the next one's a little bit harder. We're gonna skip to level 12. And this is fingers three and five. Three, five. I love music. Whoa. Okay, now level 100, you made it, is one, three, and five. That's everything. I love music. So that's it. If you can follow those tips and make it to level 100, then you're playing a C chord. Congratulations. I would also suggest you learn how to play a chord with your left hand. You don't want to leave your left hand feeling left out. Get it? Left out? Oh, okay. Level one. Two fingers one and five. I love music. Okay, skipping up to level 37. Ooh, finger five and finger three. I love music. And 
And then finally, all five, I mean, all three. I'm a cool. And then you can play both at once. So there you go. That's how you play a C chord and all the little steps leading up to it. So I hope you enjoyed following along and I hope you enjoy playing some chords at home on your own keyboard. Um, just wanted to give you a sneak peek that if once you learn how to play a C chord on the piano, it's very easy to move your hand around the keyboard and play different chords. You can play a D chord or an F chord or a C chord or a G chord. And those are the chords of a very popular song that I would like to play for you now, just to show you how cool chords can be. And let me know if you recognize it. <laughs> okay, here it is. And I'm going to say bye for now. See you later. Thanks for listening. <laughs>